Uh, is the balance out? <laughs> it's not out! No! Yu-Gi-Oh is so boring! It's still a tier zero format! Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the biggest banana and the most angry LR32 here and destroy the ever-living boo-boo stain off of that subscribe button so we can climb even further beyond the 1K ladder. That skit took like five takes to do and it still probably came out a bit cringy. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, I gotta cut the BS. Yu-Gi-Oh! is so boring. It, it is so exhausting and... I never in, I feel, my Yu-Gi-Oh! life, I have wanted a ban list more than now. Especially because back in the day, we used to know when the ban list would drop. We knew it was going to be nine months long of this crap, or six months, or whatever the case may be, unless like an emergency ban list dropped out of nowhere. And, man, the fact that we are in a tier zero format with no variation, like... I see people doing hand trap tier lists, rogue deck tier lists, and I'm just like, who gives a shit? Like, really, who cares? Like, if you think about it now, and I'm I'm gonna make this this bold statement. I don't care if it gets me any hate. Yu-Gi-Oh! is officially dead right now. Like, it is actually dead. And when I say dead, I don't mean like, oh, Konami's no longer supporting the card game. Obviously, they still are. But when you look at what's going on right now, how can you not tell me that the game is not dead? We have no product releases that are actually good. Amazing Defenders is not good. It's hot garbage. Uh, we have no big tournaments that people actually give a shit about because I've already talked about in the past how Remote Duels is just full of cocksucking cheaters. And I refuse to even acknowledge Remote Duels exist. Like, if, you know, tournament results come out and, like, we're all looking at the results, people are like, oh, well, these are results from a Remote Duel you instantly write it off as nothing but garbage because you don't know if the person's cheating, if they're using proxies, you don't know what they're doing. And so I just, I don't even touch remote duels. We have a remote duel YCS, I believe this weekend, January 21st to however long, and like it's irrelevant. We're in a tier zero format. No one's going to give a shit to play in the remote duel YCS. Uh, and then like what? A couple weeks later, we have another YCS. Like, the only events that matter are post-Photon Hypernova. And we do have a YCS February 11th and 12th, which is right when Photon Hypernova releases, because that releases on the 10th. But right now, when you're looking at the current moment in time, at the time of me making this video, obviously, that everything is in a drought. Like, there are no product releases right now. We had Amazing Defenders, but like I said, that's, that set sucked. There's nothing good in there except maybe Mokonkos. Um, then we don't get Photon Hypernova until like near the beginning of February. We don't get the Trap Tricks structure deck until later in February, which <laughs> despite all the hate that I got for my Dark World video, I'm still going to say that that structure deck was a pile of booty booty butt cheeks. But the Trap Trick structure deck is actually looking pretty good for the reprints. The deck itself is going to suck ass. But the structure deck with the reprints, that's very good. Mwah, that's a big old piece of candy. But don't actually play Trap Trick. It's garbage. <laughs> I'm going to get some hate for that too, but that's okay. <laughs> so uh, we have the structure deck. And then we have to wait another month after like getting Photon Hypernova and all that to get Maze of Memories, which has like the cool Gate Guardian retrains and new support and stuff and like also wake up your elemental hero and things like that but that's not until fucking march ladies and gentlemen i have a regional march 18th here in florida we will finally have maze of memories by that point and obviously a new balance because i doubt that konami's gonna wait until march to give us a list but it's the fact of Yu-Gi-Oh! is such in a dead spot right now that there's just nothing to talk about, man. Like, I'm not going to sit here and talk about, like, a side deck tier list when it doesn't fucking matter. And people that are doing that are just trying to get easy views to, you know, get that YouTube money. Which, I don't disrespect people for the grind. Like, there are plenty of other YouTubers that are much bigger than me that are going to do stuff like that. And that's fine. That's cool. I don't knock them for that. Just to me, it feels like such a waste of time. And I would rather talk about something at least somewhat productive, you know, since I'm one of the very few competitive channels that are even on YouTube anymore. You know, ever since Master Shits came and just took a dump on the floor and just everyone just kind of stared at the turd and didn't do anything about it. There's really not that many competitive channels 
on YouTube anymore in regards to Yu-Gi-Oh. Like obviously the casual base is where it's at. If you want to get a big following on YouTube, you're going to do the casual crap. Like that's going to get you the most amount of views. Look at what Team Samurai has done. He does nothing but casual shit now. And like, I don't even watch him anymore because it's not even worth it. The last time I actually gained insight on the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! from Team Samurai X1 was when I literally net decked his Trickstar deck and I came in like 14th place at a Kissimmee, Florida regional. And I got my invite with Trickstar when everybody else was playing Zodiac. Like, he's a good deck builder. He just does all this casual shit because like, I mean, can anybody blame him? Like, he wants to make money. And so like, I just feel so jaded towards the game because... You know, even as a casual player, like the things I'm interested in casually don't really transcribe to the game well. Like if you're a casual player, you have got to be hating the game right now. And if you're a competitive player, you've got to be hating the game right now. Because from the casual perspective, you know, you want to play these casual decks. Like I really like Gunkin Ship. It's a really fun rank four Xyz deck, but it sucks. And I've been testing the new Seaside, Supper Spot, whatever continuous spell that they got which is really broken in the deck but like they don't have any good negates they don't have any good interactions to stop the opponent when it, the deck goes first it has to go second and hope to god that it can otk and not brick so like the deck's just really bad so like even if you want to play something casual like that or even if you're just a casual player in general you don't gain anything from being in this terrible tier zero format if you're a competitive player unless you're playing sprite or tier ishizu you're not really having fun in the game if you're playing Flunder and you can just open up the D-Shifter every time because you're just that good, then yeah, sure, maybe you're having some fun. But like, I've had people tell me like, oh, the tier element mirror match is skillful. And I'm like, no, it's fucking not. That is the most toxic like mirror match I've ever seen. Ha having tr all these trigger effects and getting to like chain link 14 or 15, that's not skill, that's just toxic. The turn players just declaring what triggers they want to activate. Then once they're done, you're declaring which triggers you want to use. The only skill that comes from the tier element mirror match is if you go first and you look at your five card hand and you're able to identify whether or not you can make the abyss dweller. If you can, then you just pop off and do your shenanigans. If you can't, then you basically just have to play through the fact that the tier, the tier element player you're going against is going to mill their cards. And like you have to hope to God that you can have a Keldeo and Medora to send back their tier your monster so that they can't fuse but since they milled they're going to use their keldeo and medora to stop you from milling and it's like it's a clusterfuck <laughs> and it's like it's not fun it's not fun at all like i'm not knocking for people if they are enjoying this format if they're enjoying it you do you sugar boo boo but like i just don't care i really don't like i genuinely like i'm not even bullshitting you right now uh, i i have no idea for videos i literally don't other than making like retrospectives which are easy for the most part. I just got to do the research and then, you know, commentate over and put it together and whatever like that. That will always be there for me to fall back on. I can do market watches from here to there. Uh, you know, that's something else to fall back on. But like, unless the YouTube algorithm works in my favor, like it did on the previous market watch, not the one I just did, but the one before that, that got like over 400 views. And then this one got like fucking 60. So I don't know what happened with the algorithm on that one. <laughs> I guess I just caught a wave or something and just wrote it. You know, I can do stuff like that. But even then, like the market is stagnant. Like, what? <laughs> What are you investing in right now? Like, unless you're doing collector stuff like Starlights, Ultimate Rares, Ghost Rares, whatever. Like, there's nothing to invest in the game right now. Like, there's literally not. And so, Yu-Gi-Oh! for all intents and purposes, I really feel it's dead. There's no product out right now. Players don't care. There's no events to really be excited about. Like, what, what are you really doing during this time? There's nothing to do. And, like, this isn't to say, like, oh, you know, boo-hoo, Yu-Gi-Oh!'s dead, time to find a new hobby. It's just... It should go to show you how much we need a ban list and to at least have an idea of when we can expect one so that we know how long we have to deal with this. Obviously, we're never going to get an end date back like, you know, from October 1st to December 1st type of thing. But man, if Konami could at least just put something out, you know, on their website and say instead of in a few months, they say February 1st, February 10th or something. You know, I just, I hate having to deal with the fact that we're essentially looking towards February, fucking February, before we even get something new to play with. And even then, like, you have to keep in mind, if Konami does not hit Cash Tira hard enough on this upcoming ban list, then when Photon Hypernova drops, the format just becomes Cash Tira tier element, the format. And then we're in another tier one to possibly another tier zero format because Cash Tira tier element was tier zero in the OCG. So it'd be safe to say, safe to assume that it's going to be tier zero here. So guys, 
Let me know what you think down in the comments. I just, you know, my my thing has always been, I'm going to be honest with you from day one, and I, I just don't care. I don't care. I love making content. Don't get me wrong. That's never going to change. Just the game as a whole, I cannot for the life of me be encouraged to do anything with unless it's like a retrospective or something or like a retro deck profile, which I don't really feel like a lot of people care to watch those anyway, unless it's something out of the ordinary. So guys, please let, let me know what you think down in the comments. I'm just, it's boring. It's boring. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.